beautiful designers. Today's DIY inspiration is coming from this original Chanel rolling and sipping tray set that I created. We are going to be creating the tray, the shot glasses, the wine glasses, and the coasters. Starting out with the Chanel diamond brooch coasters. Okay, let's get into it. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, so as you guys can see, I kind of started kind of not at the beginning, but I mixed um, equal parts of my uh, epoxy and then I made black and white with my mica powder. I did find out later that this was mostly just for the after effects because I covered up the thing completely and you could not tell that it was black and white until you flip the coaster over. So this is completely and totally optional. If you wanna take this step, just making it clear will also do the trick. So as you guys can see here, I poured the white in, I tilted the coaster so the white would stay to one side, and then I poured the black in and I just simply let the colors meet. I then let it cure for about 24 hours on that first layer. I have my Mod Podge. Our layers are already dry, so I'm just gonna Mod Podge, put some on here, a really thin coat. I'm gonna put my image inside, and then I'm gonna Mod Podge on top. I'm probably gonna do two to three coats of the Mod Podge on top of this image just to make sure that the color um, ends up not bleeding once I put more resin on. Okay, so I'll show you the finished product. Okay guys, so now that that has dried, as you can see here, I've already placed my brooch inside of one. Here's what the other image, and remember that's what it looks like without the image on it. So I put two coats of Mod Podge on this and let it dry. I pre-made these uh, brooches. If you guys would like to see DIYs on how I make my brooches, feel free to request that. So we're gonna go ahead and pour our resin right on top. After we use the hot glue gun to glue down our brooch right in the center, as you can see, and you can see I've already poured my resin on top of this, and I have a ton of bubbles, but don't even worry about that because we are definitely going to get rid of those bubbles using our heat gun um, on the medium setting is usually what I do, and I don't hold it too, too close to it. You don't want to melt the beads or anything like that inside. Okay guys, once you do that, I go ahead and do this padding motion even when I'm not putting a brooch inside, if I'm doing more than one layer, just to kind of pat and get any bubbles to kind of rise to the surface so that I can use my glue gun again. You see how it's coming up right there? I'm gonna use my glue, my heat gun, sorry about that, and um, get those bubbles out. So we're just trying to get all the air out, maybe from inside the beads right now. And you definitely want to make sure that your coasters will be even and that your resin has completely covered up your brooch. So you see, I just gave you a side angle so that you can see that it will be flat. Okay, and now we're going to be working on our Diamond Dots wine glass and our Peekaboo Chanel wine glass. Glass that is gonna go with our Chanel set. I have already printed or cut out a bunch of CCs, if you guys can see that one out it's right here sporadically on the outside of the glass um I don't really have a pattern I'm just gonna have fun with it and I ended up using, I think I used eight stickers total. I'm gonna get my paper together. Let me make sure that I get a fold in my paper.
see how you see it is? That's the peekaboo effect. I love it. It's so cute. Okay, as you guys are gonna see, I ended up not doing black and white on this cup. I did all white. I did a chunkier type of glitter after I did two coats of the super fine glitter, letting them dry about 30 minutes in between each coat. Okay, and while I'm letting those dry, I am now going to work on our diamond dots glass. I put the CC on this glass to begin with, guys but I think I put it way too small, so you'll see that the finished product will actually not have it on there. Not sure if you guys have ever used diamond dots, but I love them. I use them a lot um, on, on different stuff. They're great on clothes, you know, because they're not bulky and they don't... Um, I've actually never done a diamond dot uh, um, like the murals and stuff that they make, but I use them on definitely other people. masks. Um, I made a Skittles mask, and I did um, like the letters of the Skittles with the different color diamond dots. Very versatile, and it just depends on what kind of glue you use. guys once you get the entire glass covered I did not record the entire thing because it did take me quite a while next time I probably will use some bigger stones <laughs> Okay guys, and before we go any further, please do not forget to tap that like button. Make sure that you remember to share this video and don't forget that we are going to be having a bunch of featured giveaways once we reach 500 subscribers. Okay guys, and you can see I've got the wine glass with the glitter on the turntable and this is what the glass with the CC looks like although I did take that CC off okay guys and this next part is completely and totally my fault I did not record myself putting the images on the tray but we're going to add the images to the tray and the shot glasses using the same Mod Podge method that we used on the coasters so this is what our cups look like after we put all our these are our shot glasses. This is what our tray looks like after we put all of our images on our tray. And I might do um, one or two more coats of Mod Podge on this. I'm letting them dry for about 30 minutes in between coats. Um, you guys saw our coasters. Um, and then um, the wine glasses are at home on the cup turner so we have that so yeah that's gonna be our set i think that'll be really pretty together that that our shot glasses and the wine glasses yay okay guys and so here's a quick view of our tray with our resin on it waiting on that to dry here is what our peekaboo wine glass came out looking like. Hey guys, and here is a shot at what everything looks like together. I absolutely love the pink set. I actually ended up making this and one of my very, very good friends that I've known forever is going to purchase it. And here is a look at the inspiration as to why this tray came about. In the very first place, my red and black um, sipping tray set. 